Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here. Thank you for checking out this video. And we're back here on the PTR and I'm finally talking about the Dark Ranger changes that we're going to be seeing in 11.05. So I've already looked at like the, the patch notes and stuff like that, but we're a week out officially and this is the second time I've recorded this video. The first one just was not up to my liking. So hopefully this one's going to be a little bit more concise. In fact, I've got notes this time. So uh, I am here on the PTR and we will go over the brief changes and then I'll talk about some builds, how that's going to change your stat priority. There's also some changes to our uh, spell effects and then just give you guys some clips uh, from a follower dungeon. I know it's not Mythic Plus, it's not Raid, anything like that, but it shows you just how much damage uh, that you can actually get out of a pure single target build uh, with a little cleave element to it, kind of like an homage to what we're doing right now in Nurabar Palace with so many of those um, fights are single target but with cleave added. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, our talents. I know I'm covering up part of them. They're not important. Anyway, these uh, these Dark Ranger changes. So Black Arrow now replaces your kill shot, and now you have that 80-20 zone. And that's one of my notes where I need to get uh, better at using it is I, I just don't use it at the beginning of fights like I should be uh, because you, you want to use it in that 80-20 zone, meaning you can use it when a target's above 80% health and below 20%. It's going to be doing some crazy damage, as you guys will see here in just a few minutes. Uh, Bleak Arrows is a huge upgrade good quality of life upgrade for us and then also on this uh, ability you do see that keyword death blow so much like in magic the gathering when they had those keywords on the cards we now have keywords on a lot of these abilities so death blow is built in uh, to our our build just naturally but now we're going to get so many more chances to proc it which means you can use those black arrows at any target regardless of their health and again with this build it's like an absolute truck and then our um, our melee, excuse me, yeah, our, our white hits, I guess, our, our auto attacks, uh, they do shadow damage, and each one has an 8% chance to proc death blow, meaning uh, haste is going to move up significantly in our stat priority. In fact, currently, uh, what I've got penciled in is going to be crit, haste, mastery, and then versatility. So a big change. Uh, haste goes from technically speaking last all the way up to second i don't think it's going to be outpaced by crit uh since we do want to be you know hitting like a truck and doing that double or sometimes like 250 percent damage uh with our crits um so one of the uh new abilities that we we have in the tree it's either phantom pain or ebon bowstring i don't know if i have just not been using phantom pain correctly uh by getting multiple dots of my black arrow out at once uh this was just not doing a ton of damage it was like one point five percent of my damage uh kind of eh. so i have been messing around with just ebb and bowstring which just gives me a passive 15 percent chance uh whenever i cast a, a black arrow to give me another black arrow and then send that again send it on a different target doesn't matter so my my build has been opting to just get as many death blow options uh, as possible. Banshee's Mark it just uh, it puts out a murder of crows uh, on a target. Unfortunately, this does not do a ton of damage and it doesn't proc very often. You'll also hear me say that about Shadow Hounds. It was not proccing very often at the beginning of the PTR. It's a little bit better now. It's doing about two percent of my damage. But again, I was not seeing this proc for the longest time, and I'd been sending in bug reports and I think it was bugged for a while. Uh, I've been flipping back and forth between Shadow Hounds and Soul Drinker. Uh, Soul Drinker is more for when you're going to be constantly killing new enemies because on a single target boss you get zero value uh, from Soul Drinker because, you know, if it dies uh, whenever they have dark, dark Black Arrow on them, you've already won. So it's not really good for, for single target, uh, but it'll be better uh, for AoE, particularly in Mythic+. Plus. And then you have uh, the Bell Tolls, just now Black Arrow is in that 80-20 zone, like I kind of mentioned earlier. Smokescreen, one of my favorite defensive uh, 
picks in all of the trees for for hunters uh, whenever you use exhilaration or your survival of the fittest you get a smaller version of the other one for free so that's more defensives because usually if you're using one you could use the other uh, as well uh, this one's not a big deal and in fact uh, shadow the dagger just got or shadow dagger excuse me just got a pretty sizable nerf but it's fine because it was doing like five percent of your attack power i don't want my disengage to be something that i'm using to damage to min max i don't want that uh, so that was a good quality change Sad, uh, shadow surge there we go it's so you just have periodic damage uh, from black arrow has a small chance to erupt and do some damage i'll show you how much damage that does here in just a second bleak powder uh, that is something that's been added and changed so whenever you have trick shots up and you send a black arrow it will automatically like do a burst of damage it still puts your black arrow out uh, but it does a burst of damage and it does not uh, take your trick shots um, buff. That's very key. Uh, and then finally, that withering fire, which is the huge quality of life change for us, something we were asking for on the beta or alpha and beta, is that whenever you're in true shot, if you get a death blow proc, it will automatically send it at the target and to up to two other targets as well, which gets more dots out there. And then that's when you get that value uh, from Phantom Pain. Again, I don't know if it's just undertuned or I was, I was just not seeing a huge improvement uh, in my damage. So I'd been opting to do that Ebon uh, Bowstring. This is so much fun. It is so much fun to play around with, though. I, I can't tell you how, how awesome it is to see all these black arrows just going choo, 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 as you are just doing your uh, normal rotation. And I will show you guys a, a rotation as well, or at least put it up on the screen or do something like that. Anyway, all right. I've, I've talked about enough about the changes here. We are, we or at least for, for Dark Ranger, we have a couple of other changes that I want to highlight, which is going to be quality of life for focus regeneration. One of those is improved steady shot finally got that change that i've been championing for like the better part of two expansions now it's uh now going to give you base uh 10 focus and if you spend a point in improved steady shot uh then it will give you um i said steady focus i meant steady shot we're going to get to steady focus in a second it's going to give you uh 20 focus instead of 10 every time you cast it huge quality of life upgrade there and then also with steady focus all, if you use your steady shot one time, you get 8% haste, which is going to be huge because haste is going to be very, very important on a Dark Ranger uh, Marksman Hunter or probably Beastmaster for that matter. I guess they wouldn't have steady focus now, would they? Uh, but then the other change uh, was down here to um, Eagle Talon's True Focus. It's gone um, and then we just have a pretty standard uh, build path down here. Other than that, we didn't really say, see too many changes, but all right, now let's shift to a build. Uh, a build is my build that I wanted, I've been messing around with in AOE content is this build you see here on the screen. I will put a uh, link to it down in the description of the video, but again, it will not be good until 11.05. And I'll also put a standard AOE build uh, as well. This build is a homage to what we're using in Raid. It is a pure single target build, meaning it has all the way down to readiness. It has razor fragments. It has all of your uh, augmentations of uh, True Shot, and it foregoes going with Salvo, with Small Game Hunter, and with Focus Aim. Um, and unfortunately, it if you want to build it this way you do not get to pick like bullet storm or tactical reload so your uh, multi shots don't do a ton of damage but i mean you're not augmenting them down here anyway so it's not that big of a deal but let me tell you razor fragments <laughs> and black arrow absolutely hits like a truck because all of these increase the damage of kill shot kill shot is now black arrow which means that they're going to be doing just absolute nukes amount of damage and you guys will see here in just a second now if you wanted to do a single target so let's say this was for mythic plus a mythic plus single target hybrid build i guess very long time long name there uh, but if i wanted to just do a pure single target boss fight like if i'm going in taking on sikrin or nexus princess or something like this it's fairly easy to move stuff around so you just take your point out of volley you take your point out of multi-shot and trick shots and then you just put them in the usual suspects like uh, we have been all uh, tier long so you just put it in tactical reload hydra's bite and then if you wanted to i guess I guess this would go here and, and focus aim, or if you wanted to move 
uh, and out of Hydra's Bite and put double points in focused aim since aim shot and rapid fire are doing so much more damage uh, than, let's say, your uh, your um, Serpent Sting was. Uh, but this would be a pretty standard uh, single target boss. I can move some stuff around over here, but that just not a big deal. We have all of the damaging abilities and that's what matters. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Uh, but looking at a, um, I guess, let's look at some damage real quick so this was me doing a follower dungeon up two bosses in the priory of the sacred flame which will be one of the season two um dungeons most likely black arrow was literally number one like doing 25 percent of my total damage in in this um this little slice of the dungeon keep in mind it says i did 960k overall that's with me standing around like i am now for so long uh rapid fire and aim shot get eclipsed by uh <laughs> black arrow and black arrow does have three different options here one is the main damage one is the dot that it does and then one um is i want to say it's the secondary yes uh so this main one here uh, this is the secondary dot that it gets. So when it, when it sends out your main um, black arrow whenever you're in your true shot, then it shoots two others and that they split those all separately. Again, though, seeing some really great value. And that's all happening when we have stacking amounts of crit when we're doing our most damage possible. Huge, huge uh, damage there. Look at number four. Razor Fragments is doing about 7% of my damage in this build. And again, this is a pure single target build that can do some really great AoE as well. So this aim shot here and this Wailing Arrow are obviously the same thing. Uh, there, You're going to get some boost damage since this is going to be shadow there's that shadow surge that's just chance on hit when you're when you're doing damage to erupt and do extra d damage like six percent of it is just built in while you're doing your normal rotation now one thing that's scary is multi shots down here and explosive shots even farther down here but do keep in mind in a follower dungeon i'm pulling for the bots so it does skew things on the the lower side, I have to admit. Uh, so I definitely see some better damage um, than what I see now. If I had an actual group, you know, if Zaft was in here picking up everything and we were mowing it down. But I'm going to show you guys some clips here in just a second. We do some crazy, crazy damage. Like, like here's a here's a boss fight, for example. This is an AO, AOE build in a boss fight. Like Black Arrow just absolutely annihilated the guy uh the first boss here which was a two target clee fight look at that like razor fragments is right up there rapid fire aim shot and black arrow again absolutely crazy amounts of damage and then some uh like i said the the stat prio I'm looking at my notes here. So crit, haste, mastery, versatility right now. Um, I don't think that mastery will go all the way to the bottom, uh, but I'm assuming we're going to find some. I haven't found it yet. It'll be a, a haste plateau of some description. Uh, don't have that for you guys yet. I'm still kind of working on that as I go. We did see some updated spell effects. Um, let's see, for example, uh, we have volley here. So Volley has this new look. I love this look. It actually looks a little bit bigger too, like the actual circle on the ground, because it, it used to hit just a little bit bigger than the indicator. So that was a nice uh, quality of life change. Uh, obviously uh, our Dark Ranger abilities, uh, like Black Arrow and then um, our Wailing Arrow got an upgrade. Some Sylvanas flavoring there. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so, t -t 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 um, opener and um, AOE opener. Uh, so they would look something like this. Uh, so for a single target build, uh, it's just assuming that you're like in raid or you're on a single target boss in Mythic Plus. So you're going to go pre-cast your aim shot and then you're going to go explosive shot, then black arrow because you want that uh, on, or excuse me, uh, if you're in Mythic Plus, that's when you throw Volley, and then you do Black Arrow. If you're in a raid setting and you're doing single target, you don't put Volley there because you, you don't have it, you know, as a, a talent. Uh, then you're going to do Black Arrow because you want Black Arrow on the target before you start uh, using your, um, your True Shot because then that's when you're going to start getting those procs. Uh, then you're going to go True Shot, Rapid Fire, and True Shot is going to turn your um, Aim Shot into a 
um, a wailing arrow. And so then you're gonna do wailing arrow slash aim shot. Then you're gonna go rapid fire, aim shot, aim shot, and then you're just gonna bounce back and forth. And then any time in that 15 seconds that you get a death blow proc, which we have that keyword on a ton of our abilities, boom, 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 boom. It's gonna send those and do some crazy damage while you're doing more crazy damage with your other abilities. It's so, so nice. And then for AOE, if you're, if you're using the build that I just showed, or if you're not, that doesn't change too much. Uh, so then you'd go explosive shot, then you use your black arrow, then volley. I haven't figured out what haste it's going to take for you to go volley, then black arrow, because if you do that, uh, your black arrow will burst and do damage. Uh, I don't have enough haste, and I have 13% haste right now. Uh, I wanted to go volley, black arrow, true shot, rapid fire, wailing arrow, um, aim shot, it doesn't, or uh, rapid fire, it doesn't work. Uh, it just, I don't have enough haste yet. That's where that haste plateau or haste breakpoint comes in. So you go explosive shot, then you use your uh, black arrow, then volley, then true shot, then you'll use rapid fire, wailing arrow, which will then give you another rapid fire. That'll be all in that six seconds of volley, so you'll be able to get those out and cleave no problem. And then you're going to go multi shot, aim shot, multi shot, aim shot, multi shot, rapid fire, whatever is up. You send rapid fire as much as possible, uh, and then in the meantime, then you're going to be sending your your wailing arrow or sending your uh, your aim shot. Seriously, doing some crazy damage. And I did want to highlight that. Uh, that damage you get from razor fragments because it, it's kind of taking the place of what you were getting from explosive shot excuse me and also what you were getting um, from multi shot uh, but if you want to do a standard build and you want to run salvo that's completely fine and let me go ahead and back up your it just means that your um, your black arrow isn't going to do as much damage because you can't augment it with all of these over here uh, so if I was wanting to come down here to salvo I'd have to remove readiness razor fragments killer accuracy and improve improved death blow for now i'd put two points in, in focused one point in small game hunter and one point in salvo and this would be a, a pretty um standard build here uh you're gonna really miss that that improved death blow and killer accuracy though i really think that that hybrid single uh target build is going to be superior and it's all all indicators are pointing that we're going to be playing some dark rangers gonna be a ton of dark rangers out there i'm so so excited for that but what do you guys think have you guys been on the ptr and had have you guys tried new things i would encourage you guys to jump on if you have access and let me know what you think please try out the build see what you think uh, about it does it work for your play style does it give you that extra single target um burst damage that you need on bosses it does mean that having trick or true shot up for boss pulls is very important though it's almost a must with that build uh, but one of the things that marksman struggles with is uh having lower not not completely trash but lower single target damage particularly if you don't have true shot up for the beginning and end of a boss fight um, so if, you, if you're in raid and these boss fights are going like that, you know what I mean. Uh, but please leave me your feedback down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will have some clips uh, here uh, of some different uh, boss boss pulls and then also some trash pulls. And then I'll kind of look at the damage for each one of them. Uh, it's all going to be from the Priory, which again will be on the uh, Mythic Plus list for Season 2, most likely.
the true path for the Arathi. Delcry was an Arathi hero. How could the Priory force him to turn against Hallowfall? Sister Blades, destroy these outsiders! Her usefulness to the Empire has passed. Soon, the true faithful will arise, and the Arathi will be mighty. your words. Those who oppose the Emperor will fall at our feet. By the Emperor's will! has warped the Priory from a place of...